billiards. Was it? Yeah. Right, now what we're going to try now is we'll get both the... Face. Sorry, what is this you brought in? What is this? This, this, is, just, this is just the same clay mixed with water. It's a, a kind of a slurry. It just kind of glues the parts together and stops any air being in between the joints. Okay. So it's the watery, watery yeah. clay. So yeah. we'll just push those together, gently get them close together. Bring them into an intimate relationship with themselves. Yeah, that's it. Technical. Because I have to shove my hand down inside and heal this up once it's all together and clamped up. So we'll get it as close together as we can. Without actually joining it? Without actually joining it, yeah. So that will appear as a crack, will it? No, that'll be no. completely Got invisible it. once I've got my hand inside. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, so yeah. Slip and I'll, I'll fill it in. It, it'll become plain later, but... So you've got to make sure the opening's big enough to have your hand in it? it yeah, and it only just is. <laughs> Let's get the... Uh, all together. Is that the back of his head now, or the front? Yeah, this is, that's the front of his head. This is a little bit of the back, back and these are the two head. sides. So. Yeah. I'm just trying to join them up as best I can. Let's just stick them together with it. The slit, the slit will yeah. fill these joints in, you see. It's a good job you've got delicate little hands, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get this on here. Just do the thing for this. Sure it's slipped on where it should. Is there an order you have to do this in then? Yeah, do the, the two fronts, both sides, and then the last piece is to do the back, to put them together like that. That's why I leave it quite thick at the edge, it gives us some leeway, leeway to play with to get the edges reasonably close before we put the slip on. And because once the slip's on, you can't get them apart again, so it's a one shot thing. Right, there we are. Now that's all four parts now. Now we have to work pretty quick with the slip, so we'll get this band around first of all. That looks like it's done some work in its time, that bit of... Mm, it has, yeah. Oops. If you could just yes. lift the mould, keep, kind of keep it together as best you can, don't it moves a little bit. Yeah. And we get this belt roughly into the centre. There we are. Right. That's it with it, just let it hold itself there. A little bit further up, there we are. Right, now. This is what I've got to do pretty quickly. I've got to paint each, and I can only do this once. Right. I've got to paint each side with slit, press it together, and get them all together, and then get the clamp on and squeeze it up. Okay. Okay, so yep. we'll get on with that now. That's good smudgy stuff. Yeah, so get that together, push it in. There we go. No. Super glue. That's the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I just got to remember which side goes where. I think that goes. I should have got this right the first time, really. Get the. Oh, don't ask me. On there. I definitely don't want the back of Gogan's head in the front. <laughs> <laughs> we'll clamp that onto there. See, with the slip as you push it, it kind of squirts out so it doesn't allow any air because we get. The slightest little air bubble, you're just going to get an explosion in the kiln and it's all blown uh, to pieces. See, yes, see. Right now, see the moisture's being sucked out all the time, so it's, it's this imperative. Is, this that we... is the bit you've got to do really quickly, isn't it? Mm. Right, I'll get that into there. This over. Yeah. Is this specially made for this, this tool? Uh, no, it's, it's just a uh, a general, it's usually for woodwork actually, woodworking yeah. clamps normally, but they it's work got out. that corner, isn't it? Useful corner thing. Yeah. Now I've got to tighten the mould up now. Yeah, so the key to this is just making sure everything's in exactly the right place, isn't it? Yeah. Now let's just try and stand it up a minute. We're going to get as much pressure on that as we can without actually breaking the plaster mould. Right now, this is a gungy bit now. I'll take my rings off for a moment. Just getting it in and out there, eh? Yeah. This part has to be cut off anyway, so it's just a, yeah. bit, of a bit of a squeeze. It looks like you've done some lambing in your life, uh, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> a little bit more slip in there. Just feeling around, feeling any gaps I've left. So you can't see that, you just have to feel You just have, right. to, just have to feel it, yeah, yeah. 
which with experience you can, you know, it's surprising what you can do with with experience. You just have a look inside, see if you've missed any bits. It'd be terrible if that got stuck like that. <laughs> to spend the rest of your life. Out there. <laughs> yeah. Well. So there we, there we're just a bit out of it. That's great. What's so what's next then, Sean? I'll leave it about two hours. Got to get the moisture sucked out of the clay by the plaster, and that will harden the clay up, and it'll also shrink slightly, so it pull away from the molten when we're taking apart. We'll have a hollow head ready for attaching the handle to, ready for the kiln for firing. So this will be smaller than it is now. Once it's dry. Very slightly, yeah. Very right. slightly, but not, not a lot. Just enough to pull away from the actual plaster mould. Right. And that's what you have to calculate right at the beginning. Yeah, because if, if you try and handle, handle this clay as it is, in a thin sheet, it, it'll distort. Whereas when it comes out of there, the, the moisture will have been sucked out some of it by the plaster. So it's like what they call leather hard and you can handle it. It's firm rather than just soft plastic. Right. So we're, we're leaving like this and have a couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah. Have a cup of tea. You deserve it.